Data and analytics are increasingly key differentiators for high growth organizations. Whether you're a small local business or a growing firm, you need to think about how you can leverage the data that you have. It's one of your most valuable assets. Business data that's unprotected or improperly managed can also be one of your biggest risks though. As the volume of data within a business grows though, so do the challenges of managing and protecting it. Let's look at five keys for data management for small businesses. Hi, I'm Jen. I help companies improve their productivity and their profits. When we talk about data management for business, we're also inadvertently usually talking about data governance. Data governance is really all of the rules, guidelines, and processes that we put in place to manage our data and make sure that it's stored and used efficiently. While data governance is really about the framework around our data, data management is about executing against those rules, processes, and guidelines that we've outlined. If you want to know more about data governance, check out a video I did on my other channel, The Career Force, that references data governance in much more depth. I'll put a link to it down in the description. Now let's get into the five tips for data management for small businesses. Tip number one, understand the potential of all of the data that you have. Your business is likely sitting on a mountain of data. At the very least, you have information about your customers, your leads, their preferences, and their behaviors. You probably have some amount of data on the efficiency of your operations. How many people do you need to be able to run the business and how many hours are they working to get it done? How much revenue do you generate as a result of all of these hours that people are putting in? You also have or should have data about the cost of the products or services you offer and how much profit you get out of each of those. Creating a data strategy helps you outline what you want to measure, how you're going to measure it, and then how you're going to use it to improve your business. Business. Think about what kind of data your business collects. Is it some of the things I mentioned already? You probably have access to other data as well. How might you use this to improve your business? Key number two, store your data smartly. How and where you store your data can make a big difference in how simple it is to access who has access, and how readily available it is to use to actually make a difference in the business. Think about this as you're moving in towards managing your data better. You may have a lot of helpful data, but if it's out of date or not even available when you need it, then it doesn't really do you any good. As you think about where to store your data, whether it's in a spreadsheet, a database, some off the shelf system, definitely keep in mind compliance issues that you may face. There are certain regulatory or other compliance guidelines that you need to follow depending on where you're located, what type of data that your business collects, and what you might be doing with that information down the line. This can make some locations better for storing certain types of data than others. You'll also want to safeguard your data with frequent backups. Using cloud storage solutions can be one way to address this. If your computer, your laptop, the drive that you're storing things on goes down and you don't have a backup source, what would you do? How would this hinder your business? Keep this in mind when you think about where and how to store things. Some companies that keep physical copies keep copies on-site and off-site. That way, if there was a fire, a theft, really any reason whatsoever that one copy gets destroyed, there's another location. Cloud solutions can help address this for companies because you don't need to worry about different physical storage locations, but backing things up to the cloud can make sure that you have another resource, another place to go if something happens to corrupt or destroy your local copies. The best time to think about how to deal with lost data or data that's been corrupted is to think about it before it happens. When you're in the middle of it is not the time to be figuring out your strategy. Instead, ahead of time, think about who's going to be responsible for it. And like I said, what would happen if you don't have access to that data? How detrimental would it be to your business? That should inform what steps you take to protect it and make sure that there's another copy available. Speaking of storing your data smartly, make sure your data storage is secure. Data is susceptible to a variety of threats. 
things from hackers to ransomware to viruses can all create access for someone that never should have seen the data that you have in the first place. In some cases, this creates a compliance issue, but even if it doesn't, think about the reputation of companies who have had data breaches. No one wants to be associated with allowing customer data or data that should otherwise be secure and private to be spread to people that had no business accessing it. You can put tools in place to help protect your data, things like firewalls and antivirus software. Think beyond just these steps though. Think about how you train your employees. How are you going to use the data in ways that helps make sure that it stays secure? Key number four to data management for small businesses. Actually look at your data. All of the data in the world isn't really helping you if you're not doing anything with it. So look at it and see what is it telling you? There are a variety of ways that you can look at what your data has to say. At the most basic level, you could use a spreadsheet like Excel to look at your data and see what you can learn from the information there. You can also use visualization tools like Tableau or Power BI to get insights into your data. Or if you or one of your team has the skills, you can use different programming languages like Python or R to analyze that data. As you look at your data, you'll likely identify ways that you can improve it. Even small issues with data entry can make a big difference when it comes to analyzing your data and trying to gain insights from it. You may also find that there's pieces of information that you're not collecting, which would help your business to operate more efficiently, better, have higher profits, make upsells on certain products or services, if you simply had captured it. This gives you the opportunity to rethink how you capture data going forward. Tip number five, turn your data into profit. As you look at your data, you should start to find insights which will help you run your business in a better way. This might mean more efficiency in your business. It might mean opportunities to upsell or change your pricing to be more in line with the rest of the market or more in line with maybe upgraded services or products that you're offering over the competition. Look for opportunities to turn past customers into repeat buyers. Improve your customer service. Improve your resource utilization. There's an endless list of different things that you can do if you simply measure, track, and then take action on the data that you're capturing. These five tips will help you do a better job at data management in your business. Thanks so much for watching.